Hey everybody, so I promised to show some of our goldenrod here with monarchs. And so I'm gonna take us on a little tour. We're gonna see how many we can see. So this is right out here by the garden. Ooh, hello. There you all go, right next to each other. How cool. Oh, good luck friends on your journey. Okay, so I know they're really backlit here, but I totally know that you can see that they're here. Let's go see how many more we can find. Okay, so we're a little bit further, just past the garden. There we go. <laughs> she flew back that way. So that monarch was on this annual Mexican sunflower, a super gorgeous plant. Okay, so we're at three. Let's keep going. Plant nursery, <laughs> and I missed it. She's diving over the front of the lean-to. Okay, so that's a four. My goodness, they're everywhere right now. I'm gonna try to not miss them so that you make sure you believe me. We're gonna keep going, and let's see. So I'm gonna walk the old field tray, but you can see trail. Uh, you can see that the golden rods right now are splendid. They smell. Fabulous. If you've never smelled goldenrods, put your nose in there. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're going past the new planting zone and we're gonna head out into the field and we'll see how many more. We're at four. Okay, not to the old field yet. We are on the back side of the orchard by some great blue lobelia. Look, oh wow, let me see. My zoom isn't great on here, but wow. Let me see, oh, there you go. Okay, five, and check out the lobelia. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, I think that was probably the same one, so we're still at five, but this is a big movement day. We had some errands to run, and we passed 10 in a real short area. Okay, this is not the same one. So, let me come over here. Well, there we go. <laughs> you guys are like, this girl's crazy. <laughs> okay, that's six. I've only been walking for like two minutes. These are beautiful monarchs. I mean, you can tell these are ones heading south. Oh, this swamp aster. I can't ever get enough of this aster. Look at that. So out here, oh, here comes one. So she or he is also on the goldenrod back in amongst these cut plants. Gosh, they're moving so fast and they're all trending south. So that's not surprising, is it? Seven. No way, this is just crazy. There's number eight up here and another hummingbird. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even know if I can keep pausing this video. Oh. <laughs> eight? Am I doing my math right? Eight, I remember. This is three and a half acres. This is not a huge chunk of land, but there, is, there are millions of plants here. The other butterfly that I'm seeing a lot of, a lot, lot, lot of this year are buckeyes. And we were out here a little bit ago and Steve also spotted an American snout, which is really fun to see. Look at this goldenrod magic. Oh, and look at it. Hey. <laughs> I won't mess with you. I got stung in the ear the other day by one of them poor little things because I threatened them. I was cleaning up the pots and they got scared of me. Oh, look, there was another one. What are we at? Nine? And who's that back here? Another buckeye. Can I get you? Right in there, not great quality video, but you saw wings flapping. 
they're one of my favorites. They're so cool. I mean, really, everybody's my favorites. Cabbage whites are out, always. We're still really, really, really dry here. So these plants are going fast. We're getting fall colors to show up way earlier than normal. So I'm hoping the flowers can hold out to fuel this big journey. We've had green darner dragonflies and black saddlebags here too every day and evening and they're all heading south. I'm so fascinated by their journeys south and I don't know much about them. And a couple of nighthawks here and there and nighthawks are one of my most favorite birds. Who's in here? Let's see. Oh, another buckeye. Even honeybees come in here on the goldenrod. Look at this. Can you believe how beautiful this is right now? There's two buckeyes right in the middle. <laughs> and, oh dang, I wish you guys were just here with me. I can't. I'm not going to be able to get this on my video, but you can see there's a dogwood out there. There's a green darner hanging off of that dogwood. Oh, and there's one up in the air, which of course you can't see. You're just going to have to trust me. So that's two, three. <laughs> so much is happening. Okay. I don't know. I mean, really, I should just sit here. What else is there to do but witness all this incredible, incredible life? Going through. What are we at on Monarchs? Eight or nine. Hey, Catbird. You getting some yummy rough leaf dogwood berries? That's why they're here. Safe journeys if you leave tonight, friend. Okay, that was somebody else. Let's keep going. You can see we've got some milkweed up here. Most of the caterpillars are off the milkweed now, which is good. Okay, let's see. I'm probably going to miss some. There's too many things to see. Look at this enchantment. Total and complete enchantment. Wow. And the hum is so audible. If you were here with me, you can almost feel it in the air. Okay, so out here, I'm not seeing any monarchs right now. but I'm hearing all kinds of other insects. Oh, look at that. As soon as I said it, there goes another one. <laughs> and another one. There's two right in here. Okay, so I think we're at 10. If I'm one off, I apologize. I think we are at 10. And these are all different because everybody's heading south. And we're at our north property line right now. Look at you dripping off there. See? Golden rods are this insanely awesome food plant for so many, including the monarchs. So someone asked me that long ago to show you monarchs using golden rod. I hope I'm doing it. Ooh, that buckeye almost took us out. Let's see. Okay, we're rounding the bend. Here I am, making another long video. We've got in here, Silver Spotted Skipper. But right in here is where the American Snout was feeding earlier. Those are cool. If you haven't seen one, look them up. They have a really long mouth area. Hence the name American Snout. And look, the New England Asters are starting. And the buds are real kind of sticky and they smell great. So if you see them, pinch them, smell your fingers. OK, 
Okay, so we're at 10. Anybody else? Oh, hello. Here we go. Number 11. Uh-huh. Man, you're beautiful. Okay, good luck on your journey. Oh, geez. That was another one right there. I can't even... So Okay, I think we're actually at 12. So this one is still hanging there. But there was another one right here. This video is going to be hilarious. <laughs> okay, look. So we're at 12. And right here in the middle of the video is 13 dangling about. There's another one. 14. And remember, what I'm walking here is not our whole 3.5 acres. I'm just doing the orchard and the old field. Now that's most of the land, but south of the house we have a good chunk too with a lot of different flowers. But right now, the golden rods are where it's at, so that's why I'm out here. You just never know where they're going to drop from. So I'm certain that some of these emerged here. We've had two in the greenhouse come out the other day in the lean-to, and I found them both in there, a male and a female. And I know where one of the chrysalises was hanging, but I don't know where the other one was, probably in a big tangle of the plants. So that was really cool, and I was really excited. I went in there that day because they were totally befuddled by the glass and couldn't figure out their way. And then we got cold, so it was great. I found them, I was able to get them out, and they could go eat before that really cold night. Green darner. So I think that's four green darners, 12 monarchs, in the span of, well, my video says 12 minutes. And we're almost done with the Old Field Trail. So on September 9th of 2019, we are in the middle of what I would say is peak goldenrod bloom. Canada, tall, late, thin leaved. These are all the common ones here. And we have a real fair number of insects and birds migrating through. The birds every morning, as, in my, as you'll see in my other video, have just been so exciting. And we just get our cup of coffee, we sit there and have our binocs and don't do anything else. <laughs> hey, you guys, you're having some fun in here, huh? Watch out, there will probably be cuckoos that come munch on you. <laughs> Fall webworms, don't worry about them. They won't hurt the plants. The plants have already made their overwintering reserves and I read the other day there's somewhere around 60 some parasites and predators combined that feed on fall webworms so it's not just birds and then it's actually them that do most of the I guess killing and eating of the webworms so okay hi you all ever seen so much beauty? All this gold of these plants. Sawtooth sunflower, goldenrod, jewelweed, monarchs hanging out everywhere. So these could be repeat counts. So we saw between 12 and 14 monarchs on our 14 minute tour on this one little loop trail of part of a three and a half acre parcel of land. That is encouraging, my friends. <laughs>